So we got to look at the new Damone, uh, very popular bike by Trek. Has been throughout the years for us, but this new version is a lot better. We've already sold a lot of them. And uh, I'm going to tell you a few features why. So let's go over why this is such a popular bike this year. Um, the SL6 is shown here. Uh, the comparable level of bike for this would start at the SL5 in Trex line. And Trex done a lot of changes this year. So this is the Mark III version. They do have a cool little logo kind of hidden. Very difficult to see. I don't know if you can even see it on the video. But it says Mark III on the bottom just like they do with the camera systems now. Yeah, so big changes this year is going to the disc brake. It is a hydraulic disc brake. And cables are really nicely integrated, so it's hidden right here into the fork. It comes up through the top of the frame, wraps around and through this little through this little device here, which keeps it nice and organized. All the demonies, you get an additional padding on the inside, so it's nice and comfy. And then with the benefit of the disc brakes, you actually get huge tire clearances. So on the SL5 and 6, you can fit up to a 40C tire. Um, and that goes into like a gravel, like a GR1 or something like that. With the, with the SL7, you'll actually get the DI2 unit, which is a little bulkier with the electronic motor. So you can only fit up to a 35C in there, unless you upgrade to the Shimano GRX, which actually allows more clearance away from the frame and wheel. Uh, this one's stuck with Ultegra, so it's nice, fast shifting. So the really cool thing about the Demones isn't the drivetrain, isn't the hydraulic disc brakes. It is the fact that the new frame shape and geometry make it a really capable bike for everything. With the growing gravel scene, a lot of people want a bike which is more capable. So what we've seen is a bunch of people keeping the stock rims with the wider setting and putting a gravel tire on it and then buying carbon rims and putting a faster tire on it. And then with the through axle setup, you'll be able to easily take this on and off and you have a fast road bike, which then can also go on gravel. The SLs all have the front and rear ISO speed. So you're gonna add that comfort, whether it's on road or gravel. And then they also all have that internal frame storage everyone's so pumped up about. You do get the mini tool holder unlike the Fuel EXs. Again, it's a little thicker of a piece of plastic in comparison. The hole is a little smaller, but it's designed for road bikes as opposed to mountain bike tools or tubes. It's a really nice little system they've got there. Overall, it's comfy geometry, little lower bottom bracket, longer wheelbase. So it makes it a capable bike for a gravel ride or just a long distance endurance ride where you gotta need that little bit more comfort to it in comparison to like an Amanda. With the new seat post design, um, being that it's an internal mounted one, they actually place a light mount right on the back of the seat, so it's a little difficult to see, but it actually clips right off, and you can put, obviously, a Bontrager Trek compatible. So you have to get a Trek compatible light, but it mounts right on there, and then it's easy clip on. And there's a fairly easy clip on system. So it easily just clips on there, pushing that, on it goes. As well, comes with the headset mount, so you're able to get a computer or GoPro and a light. And, and you can even get another splitter, so you can have all three if you wanted. This is a go anywhere, do anything bike, and we have a few different ones in stock I'm gonna show you.
That is what the gravel tire looks like on this bike. With the DI2 system, so it's a little tight, this bike needs switching out tires or upgrading to the GRX. And this is the light which works with that rear integration of the Damani.